Well, y'all, it's been a while, but here we are. Adventures of the Backpack is back. We have officially touched down in Atlanta on the international side of the terminal. So stay tuned because it's going to be more of a relaxation, but it's been worth it. It's been worth the wait. So here we are, international. Let's go. Alright you guys, just landed. You ready to see where we are? Stay tuned. <laughs> Woo, been waiting on this one. Customs, immigration. Welcome to Mexico, Cancun, Mexico. Oh, thank you, Lord. Headed to the shuttle. Hey, man, it's crazy back there. But we're here. We're here. We're here. <laughs> so this is how I chose to travel private. Got the whole van to myself. Hey, I'm just saying, like, it's what it was worth the wait. I'm so excited to be here. I'm so excited to. Um, to rest and to eat some good food and to soak up the sun, but most importantly, I'm excited to see what God has in store. I'm excited to hear what He has for me to write down, to write the vision. Um, excuse my voice, but um, it's been a powerful um, last couple of days from the conference at my church, Women of Fire at Redemption to the Nations. And so this is my, um, my vacation after that, but it's also my birthday um, vacation that I had to take a little later because mom had to have surgery um, back in June and my birthday was in July. It is, today is September the 18th, 2023. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm excited that I got, got this chance to get away and um, just reflect, refresh, and just come back even more full um, of God's glory. So I can't wait to share this video. And um, yeah, just stay tuned because I'm just at all. I'm just at all. I'm still. I'm just full. I miss my cheeks hurt. I'm so full. So enjoy the video, and I will um, be dropping uh, as much uh, details that I've learned. And anybody that is interested in traveling to Cancun, and um, I learned a lot of stuff uh, from other vloggers on YouTube on how to get through customs really fast. How to get through all of the um, all the taxis and people that 
trying to get you to get the um, uh, rental cars and um, what is it called? Timeshares. Yeah, you just have to stay focused. You don't have to don't make eye contact. If you're not down here for that, just stay focused and um, pre-book your your travel before you even leave and things like that. So, like I said, once again, being on to myself. So shout out to my driver, um, Charlie. I think. <laughs> All right, see you guys in a minute. The commute from the airport was about 15 or so minutes. Um, it was a really just straight shot. Um, didn't have to go through too many um, turns. Uh, upon arrival, I um, had to go through two security gates, so I felt really safe. And I was just in awe once I stepped on the property. Here you can see the view from the Diamond Club Lounge. I was upgraded and I received two butlers along with my stay. And this view was just absolutely breathtaking. Right here you can see this is the Diamond Club Lounge menu. I wish I had gotten more footage of the actual lounge, but here is my room key, which I thought was really cool. So here we're about to go into my room and you can also charge to your account through your room key. And walking in, it was already just nice and cool and just clean. I'm very, very particular about clean rooms and I received exactly what I had booked and it just was absolutely amazing. This shower was so big. It had actually two shower heads that I didn't get but one because I didn't notice it until after I closed it. But yes, I used both sides of the shower head and it just was so big and spacious. And that was a win-win for me. Um, heads in her sink, you have your refrigerator, your lock um, safe and king size bed, which was really comfortable. Here we have, <laughs> I thought I was fancy seeing my name on the screen. Yes, welcome Erica. This was really a nice touch right here. Um, welcome treats in my welcome letter. And man, the best part is coming up once I step out here on this balcony, but here's the full view of the room. The tub was amazing. I of course used it, but here's the best part. Here's the view. Wow, wow, wow. Here's my place that I stay for the next three nights. Yes, that is a jacuzzi on the balcony, you guys. That is a jacuzzi. And you're asking, did I use it? Of course I did. 90 degree weather every single day. It was absolutely gorgeous. Breakfast was absolutely amazing. So this starts day two. Headed to the spa. 
and this is really cool so my bracelet actually locks and unlocks my um, locker you see here so I'm just putting my things away and getting ready to experience this hydrotherapy pool having the beach to yourself. Thank you, guys. I first had hydrotherapy, um, different types of jets, and to prepare your body to prepare your body for your massage. Um, like I know I went through probably at least six or so jet, different jets, different um, streams and temperatures. Well, not temperatures, but um, pressure, I would say. And so it's been a beautiful start of day two. Um, if you have not gone to Cancun, book your book your flight, book book your trip. Um, so far, this has been absolutely amazing, and I'm just in awe, uh, just taking it all in. So I'm just saying, <laughs> time to get in this pool now. See y'all soon. I think it's gonna get me. Oh boy. Oh boy. Got me. Oh. <laughs> What's y'all wait? No. <laughs> get to Cancun, Mexico, or get to any resort. You deserve it. You deserve it. <laughs> So it's the evening of day two and I am headed to 
my dinner reservation at one of the, I would say seven or eight restaurants here on the resort. Um, I chose Italian tonight. Well, it's the last full day and I decided to have breakfast in the main buffet area downstairs. And this was an international buffet. There was food from all over the world and it just was so much to take in. Um, I played it safe and only chose things that I knew um, that I already liked because I didn't need any surprises on my last day. But there was more than enough um, food to choose from. So many pastries and breads and just anything you could absolutely think of and even things you probably didn't think of. So here's the traditional bacon and eggs and um, sausages and things. And so just so much, so much. So enjoy this part. If you are a foodie like me, then you will appreciate this massive buffet. Well, you guys, it's about to be a wrap. Third day, third full day in Cancun, Mexico. Um, to try to summarize this experience is royalty. Royalty and um, learning to receive what is due. Um, <laughs> like, God showed up and showed out this time of rest, this time of reflection. I'm still reflecting. I'm still trying to journal um, just to sum up this whole experience. And I tell people all the time, you're supposed to give to yourself as much as you give of yourself and not feel guilty about it. Um, it was worth the wait. I hadn't been on a vacation um, probably in about 15 months. I'm usually my average is at least twice a year. So, but in that 15 months, the Lord was moving things. He was blessing me in different areas of my life. And so I had to make the sacrifice and I'm enjoying those fruits as well. So 
to come from an amazing uh, conference with Women of Fire at my church, Redemption to the Nations, and to be spoken into that we are uh, kings and queens in the kingdom of God. We are sons and daughters. And this is just a glimpse of the goodness of the Lord. And I know that I have and probably will experience more things that most of my family members might not get to experience, but at least I get to bring them with me with these videos, with these pictures. And I'm just, I'm just grateful. And I just want to continue to encourage um, anyone that is nervous to travel solo. Um, I say, if you're prayed up and you got common sense, you'll be just fine. Like, I didn't have to leave the resort. I chose not to even decide to do any excursions because this resort exceeded my um, expectations. And um, this trip wasn't about coming and going and, and all of that. It was really about relaxation and being rejuvenated. So um, I encourage all my solo, want to, want to be solo travelers to just do it. Just do it. It's really no different than being somewhere by yourself locally. <laughs> um, just be around, be, don't entertain, you know, foolishness and do your research before you book your um, trips and ask questions, you know? So get out and live. We get this one time to be on this side of heaven. So live, live as much as possible. Experience, because travel makes you rich. And I say that because travel gives you experiences that other things can't so I don't want to make this video too too long but I just I'm just grateful I almost stayed in my room a little a little too long today but I'm glad I did take that, that afternoon nap because I'm not accustomed to those so I had to tell myself oh my like, girl you better get out and enjoy this last full day in the sun and just reflect on God's goodness so until next time this is the conclusion of Adventures of the Backpack 2023, Cancun, Mexico, at the Royalton Splash Riviera. I highly suggest booking here, you guys. I highly suggest it. Like, I chose the family friendly um, resort because they have more than one Royalton here. So, I'm here for it. They even got the the big water slides i'll try i'll do my best to go get some footage of that to close out the video and it's all good <laughs> it's all good so stay tuned because i'm already thinking about where i'm going next so peace love and let's go see the world together love you guys
pinches of the backpack. Headed to the airport this morning. Um, it was amazing three nights and four days. Um, the the service here was exceptional. I highly suggest that you book Royalton Splash Riviera. It is a family friendly resort, um, but it's not the only Royalton that they have here in Cancun. So I plan on visiting the rest of them. Um, and so I'm just excited that I was able to come and just soak it up and I am blown away. Like this is how, this is how you vacation. I'm full and um, I'm excited to share more uh, photos and videos and, and everything. So like I said previously, be good to yourself, love yourself, and give to yourself as much as you give of yourself. Signing off, Cancun 2023. Until the next adventure. Peace out. I want to thank everyone so much for watching this video. It was so fun to share my experience and my travel. So make sure you guys remember to subscribe, to like, and to share. So until next time, this is Erica Kennedy signing off Adventures of the Backpack. Where is EK now? Y'all stay safe. Peace.